here's where we put the plants yesterday. I decided to spray a little bit of the insecticidal soap around the trees on the stems at the tip just a little bit. I was thinking maybe the deer wouldn't like the smell. Of course that means reapplication after rain, but everybody's here and doing good. A said rain around 2 p.m. because it sure is cloudy right now, but not raining during the morning walk. That would be good. Here's Tuck's man. He was going to eat the dry chow because it's a brand new bag when it smells the most like the dry chow. Come here. You can come back now that you've had some chicken. Come on. You can come back. Hi, bud. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you go over and eat some more. <laughs> Good boy. Good morning, buddy. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Good boy. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but the chickens are quite vocal this morning. Just enjoying the breeze. It's in the 50s out here. Going to get to 70 today. I guess the cloud cover is going to keep it from getting too hot. Everything's looking good. I see one weed I missed in the middle of that fern. Well, there's always one when I come through. Hey there, Gray. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Whoops. <laughs> Hi. How's my girl? Got some chicken. Here you go. Well, it's a cloudy day in paradise, but I think the rain's going to hold off till we're done with our walk. Although we did see a drop or two. They're preparing the ball fields. Seems like they usually play on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And other days of the week are practices. Typically, typically, unless they're doing a lot of makeups. The guys come, they prepare the infield. They have the little tractor, but they don't come out to the fence to pick up any trash from the previous night's game. I just don't understand. You hold down the fort for me, buddy. It's raining lately. So I'm headed to Guardian Angel Apex first, and then my chiropractor's appointment. You might remember from last week, it's an hour later today. raining most of the way up here. No turnpike today because it's slightly more direct to just stay on 55 to come over here. I've got to be at the chiropractor in an hour and four minutes so I should have time to look in a, in you know Guardian Angel and it would be nice if I had time to run into Food Lion. There's one or two things I could use to get there. I would prefer not to walk super far in the rain today. I was able to squeeze in on the end and plenty far enough away if there's a passenger. I'm just looking to see if this EV6 is a Hertz car. I can't say for certainty, but it has a couple of interesting um, QR codes on it, so probably. I did not immediately see any other EVs. It's a kid's medium. <laughs> I like it though. It would go home if it was the right size. I sent that to Michelle, but she's got better. There's no Legos today. And it's kind of a wreck. People don't put stuff back. 
These are really cute and a good deal at a dollar a piece, but I don't know what I would do with them with no lid. I thought for a minute it might be electric, but no. They're showing it was 105 on Amazon and they're selling it for 80. I did make it in and out of Food Lion. The Zevia soda was cheaper than it's ever been. <laughs> I bought eight six packs. And um, we've switched to the Food Lion brand of pork rinds because we really like, God, that's pretty. We really like the way they taste and we are done never buying an Utz product again. They changed the formula or shipped ones that were had gone rancid, I don't know. And then they said the formula was better and we tried two barrels and they were fine. So we went ahead and we put in another usual big order and they were back to being absolutely horrible. Don couldn't even finish the last barrel. It was just, they were horrible and we're just not, they sent me a coupon and they said they were sorry and they tried to have good customer service, but we buy eight at a time, so we sure don't want to be getting them um, and them not tasting good. And it, it's just not happening again. <laughs> just not happening again. Yeah, I spent about $5 after my $5 value coupon and my 10% senior discount today. So I did not spend, did not spend too much. Yeah, it works fine going in reverse order. It'll be this week and next week. I just have to remember. I sure <laughs> am glad they could fit me in today because after the last two days of overdoing it, my back's really hurting and I want to start planting plants this weekend and that's not real good on my back either. So I need treatment. <laughs> I can't afford to let it get so bad. I have to have the cyst aspirated again. Well, Janice gave me 10 minutes of heat on my lower back, a really soaking wet heat, and then um, did the pulse. I decided yeah. I've got the time and inclination to browse for a few things on my mind in the Apex Target, which is basically right across the street from the chiropractor. Stuff my kids make me carry. So cute and so true. Super tempting, the little miniature orchids or orchids in small pots with a succulent too. They're 15 and look really healthy, but somehow I'm gonna resist. I got two Lego poly bags, a uh, Animal Crossing and a Harry Potter. Those are the little small, you know, 25 to 35 piece bags. And um, one Tesla Model Y matchbox like the one I got the other day they're out right now I um, didn't have the greatest experience checking out I went to the self checkout because it was convenient to the entrance I came in and I only had three small items and the gentleman monitoring the area like really really looking in my cart when I came in there I guess to see what I had to make sure I rang up what I had I guess and then there was two pieces of trash in the cart when I got it when I came in the store and so there was a trash can there at the checkout so I threw the two pieces of trash in the trash can and he came over right away and started rooting through and started rooting through the trash can. And I said, is something wrong? And he didn't answer me and he kept on rooting through the trash can. And you know, he's making me feel uncomfortable and I figured he figured I was stealing something. And he goes, I thought you had a car. And I said, I do, I paid for it here on the screen and it's in the bag. Oh, okay, well I thought you threw the car away. And I'm like, no, I didn't throw it away. And then he tried to sell me a Target Circle card. And uh, then, uh, you know, he was all super nice to me after that. And I tried not to show my frustration, but I was, I was a little offended. <laughs> Being profiled as a shoplifter or someone that had done something wrong. It happens to good people that have done nothing wrong all the time. Anyway. 
I mean, I'd go back in there again, but I think if I see him at the self-checkout, I won't go through the self-checkout. <laughs> well, the uh, rain's not making it too hard to go in and out of places today, but I could deal with less rain today, I suppose. Unless it's going to really clean my car off, then let's go for it. <laughs> this is a bolt. There's a three farther ahead. And I saw a Maki going out when I was coming in. Don helped me unload and he's back there working hard. So I'm taking him a, uh, we'll call it an afternoon snack or one of two meals for the Hi, day. Hi, Gray. Did you hear a noise? She hopped up out of her little kitty bed beside me. You're a good girl. We're done editing for now. But thank you. Psst, psst. Psst, psst, psst. Thank you for the help. It's a good girl. I sent this nifty star fidget thing um, to the printer a little while ago. We printed it with the rainbow filament, but it's mostly pink. <laughs> The next one would be mostly green. Yeah, so one side's pink and one side is the peachy orange color. And it does all kind of nifty things as you move it. Pretty cool. One of those things that it'll never come apart. Well, I mean, I'm sure you could break it, but pretty neat.